Field by Field, Mazex is bringing Canadian seed to farmers across Canada. Mazex is your source for high-performance soybeans and grain, silage, and grazing corn hybrids. Visit mazex.com to find your local Mazex representative. Bernard Tobin here at Ag in Motion in Saskatoon. I am over at John Deere now, catching up with Bergen Nelson. Bergen, how's it going? Good, it's going great. Glad to be here at the show. We've had beautiful weather compared to last year, so <laughs> things are rocking. Busy show. Well, it's always nice to start with nice weather and uh, a new machine. Hey, we're looking at the T6800 Combine here. First time in Canada. Tell us about this, uh, Bergen. Um, you've really had a complete refresh from the ground up. Absolutely, yeah. Here at, my, or at uh, Ag in Motion, we have our new new T6800 conventional style, style walker machine. It's the first machine in Canada. We're excited to bring it out here. This machine is replacing our previous T670. Um, so a lot of features to talk about. Like you mentioned, a complete revamp of this combine from inside and out. And let's start in the cab. Um, I, I guess the story starts there. Yeah, it does. As you see on our lot, we also have our S and X combines. And we have talked about that before with you, bringing new cabs in the machine. And now the T-Series has the same cab as our S and X combine featuring more heat to the feet, larger space for our customers to operate the machine, better visibility, better lighting package. It's got the G5 display, integrated Starfire 7500. So we're bringing a lot of that new technology that we've been talking about on a lot of our other products at John Deere, now to the new T6800. Now, and you've also you know, increased the grain tank size here. Yeah, on the grain tank on this machine, it's significantly increased from the T670, uh, storing 383 bushels. So it's gonna be a welcome change by our customers that are gonna be running this machine in the future. Tell me about uh, this unloading auger here, a different machine here. The T670 has had a small unloading auger in the past, and that's been a change that we've heard from customers multiple times that we need a bigger unloading auger, increased unloading speed. So that's one thing we're really proud to launch on this machine is the same unloading auger size that's on our S-Series combine, which is unloading at 4.3 bushels a second. And it also features an adjustable unloading auger spout, which our customers can put on a reprogrammable button within the cab on the hydro handle and they can control that spout and make sure the grain's going in the tank or in the semi, depending on what they're unloading on. But coupled with the new unloading auger and the bigger grain tank, it's gonna be a welcome change. Hey, and you've got some changes on the chopper. Yes, we do. On the chopper, we went to a four-row chopper design, which is also found on our S-Series combine. So feature a lot of similar parts between those two machines, allowing us to better size the residue, spread it out evenly across the field. And that four-row chopper also features the same part or the same knife blade that we run on our other series combines, making it easier for the customer or the dealer to stock those parts to make sure they're available for our customers. Mm. And last but not least, hey, is there some new technology here? Um, terrain settings automation. That's right, yeah. On the new T6800, with that new cab and the G5 display, we're also bringing technology specifically for the combine up to tune of terrain settings automation. So as this machine is going up and down hills, um, from the GPS receiver input, it's going to tell us the pitch and roll, and that's going to allow the machine to automatically change the sieve and chaffer setting, as well as control fan speed, to make sure we're keeping the grain in the machine as we're going up and down that hilly terrain. Yeah. So that's a technology that we've had out on our other combines in our portfolio, but we're happy to bring that over to this machine. And as we talk about just a couple other updates on this, we'll bring over a new electrical architecture system, which for the customer that means we're going to be able to bring some of our other harvest taking harvest technology to this machine into the future, such as predictive ground speed automation and harvest settings automation. It's not currently available on the machine, but this machine is now updated and it will allow us to update it into the future, bringing more features for the customer. 